Right by BS in 2008, 2009, 2010, and forever, 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 and who bitches who copy it are gonna be in big trouble with the law and me. Which is pretty much the same thing. Bye. Oh, and enjoy the video! Hello, guys. It's December 19th, 2008. Um, our 12th, wait, no. What episode is it? 13th, I think. Yeah, 13th news video at our BSN Studios in Marlin, Texas. Like I said, it's December 19th, which means school's out for over 17 days, and including me, the students are pumped up. They're in sight. They are glad school's out. So am I. People think I'm a nerd, but I still hate school. I hate the school concept. I hate, I hate homework and all that schoolwork. So, really, I'm glad school's out, too. What? Anyway, Blue Jays played last night, both boys and girls, varsity teams against the Badgers and Buckholz. Remember, Buckholz played the Blue Jays in football earlier this year. I got, that's the only game I got the full game of uh, in football, and the uh, Blue Jays went on to win 27-19. Similar score in the girls game, except it was closer. I don't, I don't really know if this was a... Uh, the real score because I didn't get to see it because they don't let us stay there if whoever's not playing in the game because um, they don't want to watch us so I couldn't record the girls game I heard the score was something like 22 to 19 and we lost so uh, varsity girls are 1 and 2 after winning their first game boys uh, though at 2 and 0 oh, trying to get to 3 and 0 oh after starting last season 0 oh and 2 Play the Badgers and really like last, um, well, December 4th uh, against uh, CTC came off sloppy in the first quarter. It was, uh, didn't score many points but still came out with a one point lead like last time. They led 1 to 0 after 1 and last night they led 5 to 4 after 1. And so, but like last. Game as well, December 4th. They also uh, picked up an advantage in the second quarter, outscored Buckholz, what was it? 10? Not, yeah, Buckholz. 10 to 4 in the second quarter. It was 15 to 8 at halftime. Like last game, it was 10 to 6 at halftime. And then Blue Jays dominated the second, uh, second half, third quarter. They outscored them. I don't, let's see what it was. It was about 20, like, they outscored them like 12 to something, and the Blue Jays led 20 something to. I don't know, I, I all got most, uh, some of the game uh, from the second quarter and on. Uh, I'll try to upload that earlier, but Blue Jays just simply dominated the Badgers in the second half and like they did the Lions at CTC December 4th they doubled up and ended up doubling up um, the Badgers they, the final score was 36 to 18 and the Blue Jays bo uh, varsity boys are 3 and 0 oh. so I don't know what the points were like I said I didn't get there until late it was four to four. I don't know how he scored those points, but and then the camera accidentally screwed up at the beginning of the second quarter. Deleted one. It was, so I don't really know who scored what. Uh, but Blue Jays won. That's all that matters. Thirty six to eighteen. Once again, was the final score. I'll try to get that game to you soon. I don't know when, but soon it is. It's gonna be up here. Uh, we've got 17 days. I'll be sure to get it sometime. And 
uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, no more school for 17 days. We come back January 5th. But well, I'm not, January, is it 17 or 16 days? So, anyways, it's, oh yeah, semester exams are over, and that's, pre that's pretty much it, Blue Jays. Uh, not much news going around the school. The next game for the Blue Jays are, is going to be January 15th, I think. It's going to be, like I mentioned before, or did I mention before, uh, uh, it's going to be against Buck Holtz, but it's going to be in Buck Holtz. Both uh, varsity and junior, uh, both varsity teams are going to be playing boys and girls. Then St. Mary's, I'm not sure. I know St. Mary's and CTC comes shortly after that at home. And then that's it for junior varsity. Junior varsity plays their last two games on January 22nd and 26th versus St. Mary's at home and CTC at home. Uh, varsity, junior varsity boys would try would like to beat CTC at their home court uh, at their home court since CTC only won by two points in overtime uh, on their home court. So maybe it'd be a big difference for the Blue Jays, a big advantage for the Blue Jays in West Fayette. Uh, if, if the Lions can outscore the Blue, uh, blow the Blue Jays out, the junior varsity team at home then and only went by two points so the guys are stronger and taller and them. The West Fayette has a pretty good chance of winning at West Fayette but I don't know, I'm just a guy who doesn't really stand out much but that's pretty much it here. I'm Matt Antis from RBS and Studios in Marlin, Texas. For all those regular American people out there, Merry Early Christmas and a Happy Early New Year. 2008 has gone really uh, has gone by really fast for our Canadian friends out there. Happy early Boxing Day. That's really a discouraging holiday though. I don't really know why they celebrate it. And for our Jewish friends, if anybody has Jewish friends, happy early Hanukkah. And whoever celebrates Kwanzaa, I don't know who celebrates Kwanzaa, but whoever celebrates Kwanzaa, happy almost Kwanzaa. Like I said, I'm Matthew Antis from RBS and Studios in Marlin, Texas. Have a good Christmas holidays.